Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Latif, and welcome to Good Night Freestyle with Latif Mercado. This is episode 17. It is Friday night. I'm here in North Carolina. It is freezing. However, I do like it. <laughs> but it is. It's cold. Our last couple of days, last few days, we were spoiled. The weather was beautiful. Um, but uh, yeah, today is cold. It looks like it's going to be cold for the rest of the weekend. But that's cool. I don't care. That's fine. I'm, I'll be here, you know. So, but anyway, um, I tell you guys all the time. I step to this thing. Not sure what the hell I'm gonna talk about, but you know, um, if there's something bothering me, something on my mind, whether it's about freestyle, whether it's about my life, my family, you know, whether it's one or you know, a bunch of you guys listening, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I appreciate everybody, even if it's just two people. Let's hang out, you know? So, a uh, funny thing today, though, okay? Um, you guys might be aware of my granddaughter, Santana. She's my first granddaughter. She's eight years old. Um, cute as hell. Incredible personality. And anybody who follows me probably on Facebook knows who she is. A lot of people follow me first with my daughter, Erica. There was always a lot of videos. We did stuff. Santana's a totally different bird. <laughs> um, you know, eight years old, we got her her first cell phone. She stays with us only because uh, her school is close by. And out of her other three siblings, uh, she's the only one that uh, goes to school. So we figured we'll bring her here and let her stay with us during the school year. Uh, so she goes to the same uh, elementary school that Erica went in and uh, went to. And uh, she, so it's a cool school. It's a cool school. She enjoys it. And... Uh, her parents are, they're not far from here. So we bring her every Friday and we pick her up every Sunday night. And uh, she spends the time with them, you know, or whatever days everybody has off. So but anyway, so um, if you follow any of it, if you if you watched us or you go into my, my YouTube at Latif Mercado, you can look around for, I believe the playlist is called Tana TV. And you'll see a bunch of videos that her and I, have done. Uh, she's been a part of with a camera on her face since she was a baby. I mean, I have videos. When I used to have my cameraman that used to follow us everywhere, um, the camera was always in her face. His name was Dave. She used to call him Dave Dave. So, um, but um, when, as she started to get older, uh, I wanted to do certain videos and she would really get into it. I wanted to, you know, uh, and you'll see, I have um, like Easter videos. I have um, one that I tell her, basically my version of um, um, Hansen and Gretel. Is it Hansen and Gretel? Uh, yeah, yeah, Hansen and Gretel. So it's my version, I tell her that story. Um, there's another one where it's a Halloween and she's a vampire. And it's a cool play on... Um, on one of my books, uh, Freestyle. Uh, so you'll see her in that video. There's another one where she makes slime, and it's funny. The other one where she does makeup, and then we have another one that we pulled a, a practical uh, joke on her for her birthday. It was really cool. Where I actually animated one of her dolls. She was going back to her parents, and she left this big doll on her bed. And I told her, I said, I want to put the camera in there. So she said, okay, then when she went, she left, I let her watch, I let her, I, I animated the doll, so she saw the doll actually get off her bed and walk around, but anyway, um, and it scares the shit out of her at the end, but anyway, if you guys get a chance, go on to my YouTube channel, you might dig those videos, look for them, uh, Tana TV, um, you'll see, you'll see her, but anyway, um, me and her also, uh, 
we like to do, we start getting into TikTok. I like TikTok. I think it's fun. There's a lot of kids on it. <laughs> so, but uh, it's cool because I could do it with her. So we have only a couple that we've done together. Um, so there was one that we did a little while ago today. We were actually in the parking lot at Walmart. And Angel had gone in and I was sitting back and I wanted to take up. I was just kind of kicking back and we decided to, to do this TikTok. <laughs> so just a few minutes ago, I turned on my phone and I said, I got a message from her. And she goes, oh my God, you got so many likes because she's always talking about competing with me. I got eight likes. You only got four, <laughs> you know, because we're still trying to, so I'm still trying to, and, you know, it, it, like I said, it's like good looking young kids. That's, that's like, those are the ones that, that's some old dudes, <laughs> old fat dudes are not really winning on that format, but it was fun. I do it with her, but we had did this one TikTok <laughs> and, um, we, I posted it onto my channel, onto my account, and so I think I think she's getting a little jealous right now. So I'm gonna call her a little later, and uh, before I go to bed, I know she's still up. And um, but it's funny, it's funny. So when you guys get a chance, check it out. You know, I mean, I personally, I listen. I love social media. I really do. Um, I think I have an account on almost every platform you can think of. From you know, of course, the regulars, Instagram, Facebook. But I also have things like Medium, Tumblr, Pinterest, Snapchat, t TikTok, LinkedIn, um, Reddit. I bet you a lot of people don't have Reddit. Reddit's a hard one, though. You got to kind of learn that one. Um, I study them. I, I just enjoy them. I think social media is incredible. People who dog sell social media, I don't know, man. They just don't get it. You know, social media has done so much for this freaking planet. It's it's crazy. And I'm so glad that I'm around to have seen it develop and turn into something and then blossom into this, this really great, great thing that's going on. It's 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 helping people out, making making people rich. It's connecting old friends it's creating relationships it's connecting family members i'm more in touch with my family through social media than any other way we don't really well a lot of my family a lot of the women they still write cards they do like christmas cards and stuff i don't and a lot of the younger ones now my age and younger don't really do the cards but we'll do a beautiful post and say some beautiful stuff and tag everybody and the family and get you a couple hundred, you know, likes. And I, I think that's really cool, you know. So um, I'm a fan of social media. When people go on there, oh, too much drama, it's because you're reading the drama. Or you're posting the drama. Don't post the drama, you know. I tell my wife, listen, man, if I ever get, God forbid, get really sick, don't take a picture of me in the hospital. Don't ask for no donations. Don't. Don't do any of that, you know, and I hope she listens to me. But, you know, same thing, you know, I die. Don't 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 put my funeral on social media. Like, I don't want I don't want you social media for negative. I really don't. I'd rather keep that private. If anything's going to be private, it's going to be that. OK, fine. If people find out, they find out. But it's not going to be through me. I'm not going to post it. Someone else, you know, post, oh, he got sick. That, whatever. He probably didn't get the memo saying that I said, don't do that. But um, I don't need people, to, I don't need social media to have people feel sorry for me. You know, I love it for what it is. I think it's incredible. People say, oh, well, people are losing their social skills. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. To, uh, true because total introverts now have the ability to communicate to people. For real. So people who don't have the ability to stand and be in a crowd of, of people and they can now test the waters through social media. They can find people of like-minded. You have all these groups and these pages. So, or you, you know, so it's set up that way. So if you're into uh, race cars, if you're into basketball, if you're into, you know, country music, if you're into shoes, uh, if you're into making jewelry, it doesn't matter. There's there's a niche there for you. There's, there's There are people there and, and it could create, you know, I'm also down with um, uh, uh, meetup.com. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but I think it's fascinating. I think it's really cool where you can post a meetup. So you can you can hook up 
with all these people on these group pages and then set up a meetup and say, okay, guys, listen, why don't we get together at this restaurant or, like, or whatever, you know? So <clears throat> it has its dangers like anything else, just like a regular date, just like anything else. It has its dangers. Uh, there are crazy people no matter what, but we just got to be careful with how we do it. Hold on. You know, one, of the, one of the great things about uh, social media is the ability to also use it to somehow build a business. There are so many ways now. If you use it the right way, you know, and I, I tell people all the time, you know, learn the formats, learn the platforms. Don't, don't just go and think you know it, you know, really learn it. But there's so many opportunities and, and you know, it's just a vehicle. It's just a vehicle. It's still going to take you to create the idea and to create the products or the services, you know, but you can use social media to promote and even sell, you know, what it is that you're selling. So there's a lot of opportunities um, these days, a lot. So um, I, I, I love them. I love all of them. I think they're great. I don't think people should keep their kids off of them. You, you know, don't get your kids used to, get them accustomed to them, if anything. You know, you might you want to monitor them, of course, because there's sickos on there. You need to tell them. If you're going to let them on social media, you have to be open with the kids. You have to let them know. And it's scary. You know, I kind of, it sucks to have to scare my grand my grandchildren and just like I had, it sucked to have to scare my kids about the craziness you know but man I'd rather scare them than something go wrong you know something happen but educate them teach them monitor their stuff you don't you know what I'm saying that you know the privacy is to a point if you feel you don't feel good and you check that thing you know you let them know say somebody tries to reach out to you you know you know, pass me the phone, show me the number, show me what they're saying, don't respond, don't say anything, don't give your address, don't give your age, don't don't give anything, you know, so don't give your name, you know, your real name, even though that's like a given, that was a big thing at one point, oh, your real name, everybody uses their real name online, <laughs> so forget that, you know, so it's really not difficult for people to find people, you just gotta be careful just like anything else, you know, so anyway, but um, that was one of the things that was uh that that had happened uh, today. Um, so I'm I'm still working on uh to, you know a few shows. I got a handful of shows that came in. I sent out the contract, so we should be secure. Everything should be locking in by next week. I'll be able to let you guys know which which shows those are. I can't speak on them now, just in case they don't happen, because we could get contracts. We could sign contracts after that. They have to give a deposit. But, you know, people change their mind at the last minute. Um, for whatever reason, I had a promoter that passed away. He was actually killed. Um, and so, uh, it, you know, anything can happen. You know, I had another promoter that in the middle of a transaction, he had a divorce. They got into a big problem with his wife, and he ended up just grabbing his stuff and leaving. Excuse me. Uh, so um, so that's what we're waiting for now. Uh but everything's locking in. It's looking real positive. I think we're going to have a really good year. Um, I have some big plans. I have a lot of stuff that I want to do. Got my new books coming out. Yes, yes, y'all, March 27th. So if you guys um, haven't picked up the pre-sales, you might want to look into it. Go on my Facebook page. Um, I have information there. Check that out. Um, check out the, the um, uh, yes, yes, y'all. We, uh, we sold several copies. Um, I was only doing 25 autographed. I think I got like one or two left. That's it. I don't want to autograph that many. So, and by the time you get this, by the time you read this, you probably, the autographs, uh, books might not be available anymore. I don't know. But, you know, give it a try. You never know. So, other than that, um, you know, everything is kind of chill this weekend. I'm going to do some work. I'll be, I'll be in the office and, um, uh, take care of some paperwork, straightening out, working out my calendars for the whole year. Um, I work with to-do list. I have, I always have. I jump around a lot. I do a ton of creations, a lot of a lot of writing. Um, so I like to keep that organized, and I, I always have to be um, progressive. I have to always make sure I have stuff happening. 
you know. So, but um, you know, other than that, we're good. We're good to go. Um, so, like I said, it's Friday night. I'm gonna be chilling tonight. This isn't gonna be that long. I just wanna thank you guys again for a great week. And uh, don't forget, um, we're going to be releasing. I wanted to release it uh, today, but I couldn't release it today. Uh, the Facebook page. The Facebook page is gonna be. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be uh, Good Night Freestyle. And you can leave your messages, comments there, and maybe we can start a dialogue and. I can help you guys. Uh, if anybody has any any interest in the genre, you know, regardless of whether being an artist, whether it's you know getting into management, starting a label, road management, productions, um, I've, I have had my hands in so many of those aspects uh, with freestyle in particular. So there's a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of information that I can I'm willing to share. Of course, I never charge for this stuff, guys. So I, I really, really would love to see people, but you got to approach me with it. You can't expect me to even see what you're doing and then try to offer my, my service. I've been dissed that way. <laughs> I've had people that I've put my two cents in with good intentions, um, and it was kind of thrown back at me. So I was like, all right, well, good luck, <laughs> you know? Uh, so, you know, but anyone who asks, I'm always there. I'm always there to help answer whatever questions I can. I want to, you know, I want you guys to also keep in mind that this can be extremely lucrative uh, genre of music. There's so many, so many angles and there's so many doors that can be kicked open. So many opportunities that are not being tapped, guys. You have to listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm trying to tap a little bit here, a little bit there. I've done colognes, I've done t-shirts, I've done books, I've, you know. These these fields are open. If you guys have any any kind of skills that you don't you that that maybe are, are your know, opposite, you know, uh, the whole freestyle genre, you know what I mean? Um, you'd be surprised how you can probably you know cross the two. So. You know, I want you guys to um, to really think about that. Maybe we can, you know, start a discussion about that. Whether you're, you know, I brought this up before, you know, whether you're a painter, like an artist painter. Um, maybe you work, you do clothing designs. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you build furniture. I mean, there's always a way of crossing these paths. And you can really... You know, this it's a big market. We have a, we have a lot of people here. We get the infrastructure is pretty tight, you know, and that's why there's so many uh, you see so many events happening around the country, and they're pretty big events. Is because there's an audience. These guys will not invest this kind of money, you know. And I'm talking about you know freestyle, you know, super freestyle explosion or the Bobby D presents or freestyle fest or any of those big events. You know, those people are investing big dollars for this because they know that a market exists a market exists you guys have no idea how much it will benefit me and how we can benefit each other if we can look at it this way and it's like sometimes i i, I try to talk to people about it and it's like it seems like somebody has to have done it first in order for other people to to want to move forward with it. and that should never be the case Always try to be the first. Try to be the first, you know, and, and and be innovative. I don't need a piece of anything that you're doing. I'm still willing to help out and and consult. I don't want to physically do the work for you, if it's yours, unless I'm a part of it. But man, I got you, you know. So you know, I want you guys to to really um, to you know really look into what what we're sitting on here really looking you're not going to be my competitor in fact everyone who gets involved you know makes this genre that much more important and that much more relevant so it's important that you guys get involved it's important that you come up with new and fresh ideas you know you know i can't just sit there and try to support songs being put out that's that's cool okay bravo you did another song 
but that's not what's going to help the genre right now. You know, we 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 had to we have to really look at this as a as a like a machine, like a God, like an ecosystem. You know, so there there's a lot of opportunities here, and I want to get more into this. I just you know I want to I want to see if there's anybody out there who's even getting the idea, who's even you know understanding and to any capacity what I'm talking about and little by little I'm gonna get more and more clear because sometimes it's not that clear to me either you know so I come up with these things and I know what I know what I want to do and I know what can work but I sometimes I might have a hard time explaining it you know breaking it down uh, and that's what I'm hoping with the podcast I can do the more I talk the more I start to open up and I kind of find myself and I find deep down what it is that I'm trying to do and I really want to help people I, I, I really have a desire to help people and I think in this genre it's really hard for people to believe that you know it really is I mean I've been through it I've had people where they're like what's in it for you pretty much the same thing that's in it for everybody is a vibrant genre that we can all that's just, you know, blowing up. You know, think about it. Think about it, you know? So, but, um, anyway. All right, guys, I'm going to shut down. I appreciate you once again. If you're going out tonight, please don't drink and drive. Be very safe. Enjoy your Friday night. Whatever you're doing tomorrow, we'll talk. But uh, have a great day. And until then, good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.